and Bridges for his acknowledgement of the strength of the New Zealand economy. Question number two, the Honourable Simon Bridges. <laughs> Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Does she stand by all her government statements, policies and actions? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Yes, Mr Speaker, and apparently so does the member. <laughs> How many dollars a week has the median rent increased under her government? Mr Speaker, I've actually seen some of the um, statements uh, from the member on uh, rental increases. Uh, and what I wanted to point out was the numbers that he's used have been quite selectively chosen. When you look at the across the country, and I can give a percentage rather than a numerical figure to the member, but if he puts it on notice, I'll bring a, um, a dollar figure for him. But if you use across the country the geometric mean growth, um, that's remained relatively steady. Uh, so in September 2018, that was 4.8%. September 2017, it was also 4.8%. September 2016, it was 4.5%. September 2015, 5%. You get the picture. So, Mr Speaker, it is fair to say rents have consistently increased over the years. Obviously, the member will know the most significant driver of that is supply, and this government is focused on fixing that issue. Well, is she aware that the median figure is some $30, two and a half times higher than the year prior, and that even using the mean, rents have gone up 26 dollars a week under this government compared to just 13 under the previous. Oh, Mr Speaker, I know that that member chose one month uh, and used figures which aren't an accurate way of capturing what's happening in our rental market. I absolutely accept that rents have increased. I accept that. What I do not accept, uh, what I do not accept, is that somehow the last government had nothing to nothing to do with the issue that we are now facing. There is a supply issue. That was a government who got rid of state houses that did not address the lack of supply. Unlike that government, we are turning the ship around. It just takes a bit of time to build houses. Is she seriously disputing the MB figures that show, on a median basis, rent has gone up two and a half times, on a mean basis, it's double? What I'm referring to, though, is the geometric mean growth, which is the most accurate average, uh, because the um, uh, arithmetic means are too sensitive to changes in the higher value. Uh, Mr Speaker, again, I'm not arguing with the member over whether rents have gone up. What I am arguing over is whether or not we've got a solution that the last government didn't even try. How, how do we calculate geometric mean growth? Mr. Look, Mr Speaker, what I've argued here is that when taking into account spreading over um, that period of time, spreading over the increase is a much more accurate way of taking one month, one month out of the year, uh, when we know that a lot of people experience an annual increase, say at the end of a calendar year, um, that is the most accurate way to reference the increase that people have experienced. Does she think that higher taxes such as extending the bright line test to five years, ring fencing losses on rental properties, and the prospect of a capital gains tax will have no effect on rents. Mr Speaker, again, I saw the member being asked which exact precise tax he thought had made an increase in rents and couldn't name one. Um, Mr Speaker, that's because most of what this government done has already has been focused on tenants. Getting rid, of, looking at getting rid of letting fees, for instance, making sure that there are healthy homes that our renters are in. Mr. Speaker, we're focused on not only building houses, but making sure that those are in the rental market are getting a better deal. And another thing that we've done is made sure that they will only experience annual increases in the future. That government did almost nothing for tenants. Is she saying that more taxes? and higher costs will not reduce the supply of rental properties or be passed on to consumers in terms of higher costs. Uh, Mr Speaker, some would argue the biggest change that um, those in the rental market have seen in recent years has been the Bright Line test, and that was brought in by the last government. <laughs> Is she seriously saying, in terms of her thesis about supply, that more taxes and higher costs won't reduce the supply of rental properties will be passed on to consumers in terms of high costs. Straight question. Mr. Speaker, 
What I'm saying is we'll make the biggest difference to supply is building houses. Question number, question number three, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Mr Speaker, does she stand 